Company Food Online. I wanted to do another video about online labels and the feature of creating your own labels. I do get a lot of questions about how to make a label for my food products that I want to do a private label for, but I want to include a barcode. So I'm going to show you how you can actually uh, add your barcode to a label, create your design, and you're set to go. Now guys, keep in mind the first thing that you need to do in order to make a label, you need to figure out what type of packaging you are going to be using and that will really dictate the type of label, okay? So if you have a small circular round jar, uh, there may be a small circular round label that would make sense that you could put on the cap or the lid or the top of the of the product or uh, you could wrap it around the product itself or you can get a rectangular label and wrap it around the perimeter of the jar or a bottle depending on the shape in size okay so of course that's just one example there are thousands of labels that you can get here on online labels and the this site is just phenomenal um i can't say enough about it uh, we've been using their labels now for several years and uh had no problems or no issues ever the quality of the labels for the price is absolutely amazing so i've got this on right now in front of you i've got this uh, sample label this is a two and a half by five and this actually is a label that i use on one of our large bags of candy and I'm going to show you how we kind of create the label now do keep in mind when you get a barcode and I'll have to do a video separately on how to buy barcodes specifically barcodes that are uh, legitimate barcodes there are some sites that sell barcodes that are not legitimate and I will go into that in much more detail in another video so let's start off with this guys um, once you sign into your account with online labels, you know, you, you get yourself logged in and then you want to move yourself, uh, click over to the left hand side of the screen. Um, I've already, I've already kind of gone through, let me show you here. Here we go. Right here, you want to launch the Maestro label designer, which is on the left side of the page. Here's the main page. And then you go to this page. All right, so let's get started. And again, I always recommend just leave this on here. Don't go into the design mode, just go into the recommended mode and you wanna start a new design. All right, so here we go. So let's say we're going to start with the text, okay? We're going to, I always put to the top, to the top of our labels, I always have our, na our company name on the top. And then what I do from that point is put the product. Now I'm just going to, for example purposes, just make up something peanut brittle let's say and I do my net weight now um, when you are creating your label remember there are uh, several components you need to have <clears throat> excuse me if this is going to be a product that's going to be put into a retail store the retail store is going to require the barcode now if you are just selling this through your own website, let's say you're selling this, this item through your website and you want to obviously have your label on there with your ingredients and all that good stuff, you don't necessarily need to have a barcode. It is not required if you're selling it yourself from you just directly to your customer and you're making it. Barcodes are really for retail stores to track inventory within their system and the barcode has to be a certain type of barcode. And again, that is a separate video. So you don't necessarily have to do this if you are labeling products that you're selling from yourself through your website, okay? Right to your customer, all right? So net weight 16 ounce, and ingredients. And this also has, by the way, this box has spell check. So if you, uh, ingredients is always a word that kind of trips me up. Um, and actually I got it right, so we're good. Um, so ingredients, we're gonna put in peanuts, we're going to do corn syrup, sugar, baking soda, and, and that's it. This actually, I have, a, I have a couple recipes that are vegan that I actually do not put butter in the recipes, so I'm just going to leave this blank. So we've got our peanuts, corn syrup, sugar, and baking soda, okay? And then you can create an item number if you want. Um, again, this is just for demonstration purposes. Okay, and then remember, it is always important if you're making food products, allergen warning label, okay? And then you put on there made in a facility. Facility, ay, 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 ay. Here we go. It's been a long day. <laughs> made in a facility that handles 
Um, nuts, wheat, hmm. dairy, eggs. We actually put all of these on here uh, for the allergen warning because we do produce cookies. So we do have a bakery uh, within the candy facility that we do bake goods and cake balls. So we want to make sure that all of these allergens are covered. So handle the eggs with the wheat and soy. That's another one. Okay. All right, so we're going to click on add the text. Now, as, as I said before, this is always left justified. So you want to center it, okay, and you want to make it center in the middle. Um, and we, I always put this to the top, and we're going to shrink that because we have to make room. We can make it bold so it sticks out a little bit, so it's legible. All right, we're center that. All right, so now we need to pull up an image. And again, these are preloaded images and I've got a bunch of my nutritional label information. And again, this is just for demonstration purposes. So I'll click on that image. And sorry guys, I'm not sure why they didn't show up. Let's try it again. And we will add, what I'll do is put in the nutritional information and we're gonna go roughly in here with that and then our barcode will go on the bottom, okay? Sorry about this short delay. If I figure out what's going on, we got a little technical issue here. Give me just one second. There we go. Okay, sorry about that, guys. So now once this is selected, then we will have... Alrighty, why we're frozen up here. Sorry about this, guys. Hey guys, alrighty. Uh, sorry about that. We will definitely um, had, had a little hiccup there. Okay, so we've got our um, our description of our product, the product name, um, the net weight, of course, the ingredients, and of course your allergen warning label. Now here is what I our nutritional facts. Okay, and I'll show you also in another video how we can get this. There are companies that can break this information down for you, and I'll explain how that process works. Okay, so we have our nutritional label, um, nutritional facts, and all of our ingredients. Okay, so let's in incorporate the barcode. And again, these are barcodes that you can purchase online, and I will do a video showing you where to get barcodes that are legitimate barcodes. All righty, and we have a sample barcode somewhere. All right, so this is a good, a good example. So if you don't have the image, we can upload a new one. And we will choose our barcode. And let's pull up that barcode. There we go. And we're, there's our barcode. And again, this is a sample barcode. This is not one of my barcodes. Um, and then we shrink that down. Okay. And you can incorporate this on the lower half of your label. Now, if you if it doesn't seem like you've got enough space, like this seems a little congested in here, if you will, we could shrink down our text and then we can raise the nutritional facts part. And that way that would allow us to, there we go. Alrighty. So there you have it. That's pretty much very, very simple, easy to do. You've incorporated everything that's necessary for you to have this on a food product, okay? Um, one other thing that you will need to have space for, and I'm actually going to show it how you can get done that as well, is going to be your business address. When you are producing a food product, you need to have an address of the company. Where is it being made and where is it being produced? Okay. Um, and we're going to add a text box. And let's say I'm going to make up a number one, two, three, four, North Avenue, Miami. Florida 25124. Okay, these are of course made up <laughs> information. 
And then put your, your company's name on there as well. The Brittle Box Candy Company. Okay. All righty. And we're going to add that. And again, you want this to be center justified right over here. See this? You don't want it left or right. You want it nice in the center so it looks professional. And you want to bring that down and shrink it ever so lightly. There you go. Bam. So all of the information that is required for you to put this on a food product is this. Okay. You've got your allergen warning. You've got your name of your company on the top, the name of the product, the net weight. And of course, guys, if you're not familiar with this, the net weight is the weight of the product, not the packaging. If they were to take out the product from this bag, let's say of candy brittle, and they weighed the product, it has to weigh 16 ounces. Okay. That does not include the packaging. Okay. That's what net means. It's the net weight. Nutritional information. So you've got the breakdown of all of the nutrients and such as far as protein and cholesterol, etc. And then you've got your scannable barcode, which again, this is really just for the use of a retail store. Now, if you have this on your products, this is what you could actually add at Amazon.com. If you are FBA in the product, if you're sending product into FBA, you can actually utilize that UPC and you can type it in. And I'll do another video showing you how to do that. So the Britbox Candy Company, 1234 North Avenue. Miami, Florida, etc. Now you could, if you want to, you could put your um, uh, website address on there and that would be perfectly fine. You can also put on there um, your phone number if you have a contact phone number as well, okay? So this is the information you need and that's how we do it. Um, and then from there, when you're in the uh, Maestro Designer, you do the print, you click on print now, download the print, and then you are good to go. And that's it. Now. What would you do if you have to get all of this information on a very small label? That's a great question. There are actually um, ways you can, I don't want to say get around it, but there are ways that you can include this nutritional information. They're actually formatted in a more uh, smaller version. And you can actually, same thing with your ingredients, you can put them on a smaller version as well. And what I mean by that is that the shape of the nutritional labeling doesn't have to be so big, nor does it have to be rectangular. You can actually include nutritional information in this type of, right here, this type of text. And what I mean by that is that you could literally write out uh, fat, 20 grams, uh, cholesterol, 10 grams, etc. Once you've had your nutritional information broken down for your product, it doesn't have to be formatted like this. Just as long as it has it on the packaging and it relays the information accurately, you're good. Okay. And then lastly, of course, the barcode can be super, super tiny. You can, as long as it is scannable uh, by the retailer. Okay. Or it can be scanned by Amazon FBA inventory guys when they pull it out of the inventory. It just needs to be scannable. Okay. There's no definite law in, uh, in regards to what size or shape or and all that. It just has to be on the package and actually has to be accessible. Okay. So I hope this breaks it down and, and explains to you how you can incorporate barcodes on your products um, and of course uh, incorporating the necessary information for your food product. And again guys, if you have any questions for me, let me know down below and I will definitely help you out. And uh, thank you guys.